or the volume of the fuel air mixture that burned. So the volume is the area times a height or length times width times height for a rectangular volume. For a cylinder it's still the area times the height. So for this example we can say what's the surface area of the room or the, what is the volume of the room. We want to know what the volume of this room here is. We can say the volume is equal to 7 meters times 2.44 meters times 12 meters and this is equal to 7 times 2.44 times 12 that is 204.96 so that's equal to 205 meters cubed all right, so I forgot to talk about significant digits. Basically, significant digits are the number of digits or the number of accuracy you're holding in your solution. So you don't want to report something too accurate because there's no real way you can measure that. So in this case, if I said 204.96 meters cubed, I would be measuring down to the millimeter, right? maybe down on the centimeter or half a centimeter at least but down to the centimeter so I did not measure this room down the centimeter I promise if I was measuring uh, the area or the dimensions of the room I would not measure them down to the centimeter not down the millimeter anyway but uh, yeah so you don't want to carry that much accuracy so when we're talking about we have three significant digits here, we have three significant digits here. So basically, report the same number of significant digits that you get in your, in your problem statement, or how, how accurate you think you can measure the problem, or just give one decimal point and you'll probably be right. All right, so let's say we have 205 meters cubed. Is it reasonable? Next check, is it reasonable? Well, this one's a little harder. We have, 12 here, we have 7 here, we have 2.5 here, give or take. So if this was 10 and this was 10, that would be 100. And if this was 2.5 times 100 would be 250. So we're somewhere close to 250. So we made a lot of approximations. We're a little smaller, but this number and this smaller are... This is a lot less than 10, this is less than 2.5, and this is only sort of bigger than 10. So 205 seems reasonable. Let's say the reasonableness checks. And if we wanted to convert it to feet for some reason, let's say we're working in, I keep saying America, and America kind of is not just the United States, so I apologize for that. So if you're working in the United States, we could say, well, how many feet cubed is that? And we could say one 0.3048 meters is equal to one foot and then we need to cube this because this is meters cubed and this is only meters so we need to cube it here and so 205 divided by 0 0.3048 cubed is seven two three nine point five feet cubed so now we need to check the reasonable of this answer is this answer reasonable okay that's a little bit harder three point three cubed is equal to zero point zero two seven one divided by that number 37. So we should be about 37 times bigger than this number, which is probably about this. When you start checking the reasonable of these things, sometimes you just want to do the math twice and make sure that it's reasonable. So if we do it again, and I'm going to actually punch it in twice. 
I get the same answer, so I'm going to say it's reasonable. All right.